We are solidly over our household budget this month. Solidly. I wish I could say there was a good reason, but there's not. But there is a reason. And no, it wasn't eating out. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Let's just go ahead and get into it because I know you want to know why this happened. In our housing category, we have $270 for our storage unit. And as always, if you don't know why we have a storage unit, I'm going to point you to the eye in the sky over here. And in our utilities category, we have our cell phones for $210.36. In our food budget this month, we did go over quite a bit. As I mentioned, I am in love with the food meal services that they basically mail you everything you need for food for a week. It's lovely. It's really cutting down on my food prep time and it's more on the costly side, but I'm okay with that to save time because, you know, busy working mom, you know, you feel me, you understand, you know. So we spent $636.89 on those meal services and groceries for lunches. That is more than we originally budgeted, but you know, I did order four weeks of meal delivery services at three or four meals a week, depending on the week. And then I also ordered the last week, I ordered Hungry Root, which is like a vegan meal prep service, or they offer vegan. And so I ordered two meals for two people and that covered my lunches for that week, which was amazing. Oh my goodness. I will be doing that again for sure. I'm not vegan, by the way. I just... I have an affinity for vegetables. I naturally gravitate towards a vegan diet, oddly enough. We spent $13.25 at Melina's school for Turkey Day, and that was lovely fun, going and having lunch with Melina. It was cute. We spent $40 for school bucks, which are Melina's lunches at school. We spent $28.65 picking up Santini's Deli for lunch one day for the whole family. I grabbed Honey Grow after a meeting one day, and that was ten forty-five. Lena, we got her McDonald's for seven twenty-nine, and then one night we did order Shake Shack for fifty-six forty-six. And Mauricio took Melina to Coldstone one day for $11.14. So yeah, there is a slight food component to the overages. I'm going to admit it. In gas, we spent $41.19. And we actually spent more than that. But the last one, as you know, gas takes like forever to clear. So we have one in the queue that may or may not clear today. And since I record on the last day of the month, sometimes there, there are things that clear in the afternoon afternoon that don't get into my budget. So I don't wipe out my budget and start new until the first of the next month. But you know, I want to get this out to you as quickly as I can. So that may clear today. It may not. I don't think it will. I think it's going to clear next month. The rotate and align tires that did not happen this month. Although despite my overwhelming nagging for Mauricio, <laughs> I'll keep reminding him and hopefully he'll do it while I am traveling for work in December. That'll, that'll actually work out really well. In insurance and tax, we spent $227.77 for our cars and renters insurance. That last payment is usually more, and I'm always surprised by it every single time. So usually it's $185. This month it was $227. In our USAA life insurance, it was $91.65 as always. Our CMFG life insurance was $12. And I don't think I ever told y'all I got this life insurance at the same time we took out the big loan and I thought it was actually attached to the big loan. It's for, I think, $400,000. It's a policy. Um, and oddly enough, it's not attached to the loan. So it's, it's actually for $400,000 for us for $12. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to keep it for a while and then eventually dump it, you know, once we are fully, you know, vested and have lots of money in our bank account and we're good to go that if something happened to us, Molina would be well cared for. Once I realized that I was, I, I made my peace with, with that life insurance because <laughs> I legit thought it was tied to the loan. And then we have our Xander life insurance for $35.83 and that is Mauricio's life insurance. Mine is the far more expensive one. 
because I'm older. In our savings category, we did go ahead and fully fund our sinking funds. We generally try and make our debt payments and our sinking fund payments and work off of the rest of the money every month. Um, those are like our two requirements that we try and do to make those payments to meet our financial goals. In our savings category, we are still funding our trip to Columbia. It says January, we're not going till April. We are funding our summer camp for next summer at $200 a month. And we're hoping to be able to pay that in February. We have $150 going to our medical sinking fund, $100 to our car repair replace sinking fund, $100 to our Christmas sinking fund for next year, because we've already bought all our Christmas presents for this year, $100 to an emergency trip to Columbia, $50 to miscellaneous school expenses from Lena, which are at the beginning of the school year every year, because we just hemorrhage money at the beginning of the school year every year. And then we aren't contributing to our emergency fund because it is fully funded, our baby emergency fund. In iTunes, we spent $35.96 like we always do every month. In Audible, we spent $32.51 because I bought a book thinking I was using a credit and I actually had no credit. So we spent $3.99 at Amazon Music and then we had our Scott's Cheap Flights annual fee for $39. I don't know that I've ever talked about Scott's Cheap Flights, but I will put a link to that place down in the description box. You can actually, it's an amazing way to find cheap flights. If you are a traveler, it's highly, highly recommended. You can do it for free or you can pay $39 and get a lot more flights. We opt for the $39 because when we want to go to Columbia, we are always looking for the super cheap flights. So it, it ends up being worth it for us. But especially you travelers out there who are looking for cheap flights because they have like one day fares. Like I think some of the ones I've seen recently have been amazing. Like if we weren't on a debt-free journey, I seriously would jump all over them. They were incredible. And in the Molina category, we have before and after care for 608, swimming lessons for $99, Spanish classes for $280, miscellaneous school expenses for $38.66, and what was that? Legitimately, I don't remember. Oh, I know what those were. That was book fair. So after Turkey Day, we went ahead and went to the book fair with Melina and let her pick out some more books. He spent $28 on school pictures. They were not good this year. I sent her with a hairbrush knowing that her hair would get messed up during the day. She did not brush it. It did not look lovely. We spent $28.49 for snow pants from Lena. So it's November and it actually snowed here. And that is not a good sign for Virginia for the winter time. When it snows this early, it's usually ugly. And when Melina went to play outside in the snow, we went, ah, we got rid of her snow pants last year because they were like super short and had forgotten that we needed to buy new snow pants. So I started, I looked on LL Bean and their snow pants were like $79. And I was like, oh, I don't want to spend $79. And I was like, oh, wait, Poshmark. Let me just go ahead and check. And would you believe they actually had the exact snow pants in the exact size that I was going to buy on Poshmark for Melina. Got them immediately. Didn't even try and haggle. Usually I try and haggle, but with the snow being what it was, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy them. They were $28.49 with shipping. So uh, yeah, that's, that's a huge savings. And they came and they were in perfect condition. They looked really great. They are huge on her, so they should last for a couple of years, but they have Velcro in the waist, so I can cinch them up really tight and she just looks like the little Michelin man going out. It's really cute. And then we spent $20.86 on a swimsuit for swimming. I don't know why my child is growing so quickly, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna be a full-sized adult by the time she's like in second grade. <laughs> Cause she's, I think up to here right now. I mean, she's tall. She is, she's like the second tallest kid in her class. It's pretty intense. But so was I. I was fully adult height at fourth grade. In the cash category, we had $20 at the dry cleaner, 
$200 for blow money, $30 for haircut. We didn't spend any money at Sally Beauty Supply and $100 for family outings. In my YouTube category, I spent $4.50 on TubeBuddy, $5 on Backblaze, $9 on Morning Fame, $19.95 for a YouTube group. And then there was the $99.99 annual charge for Pick Monkey. And, and Pick Monkey is the program that I use for making my thumbnails. If you don't know what a thumbnail is, what you click on in order to watch my videos. We spent nothing in work expenses. Mauricio has been doing an awesome some job of finding free parking during the day so we haven't had to pay for any parking and parking for me is covered with my job you are about to see why we were over so as you know i put a hundred dollars in the budget for a cushion and this month we went screaming past that hundred dollars the cushion for us really covers anything that comes up that i have forgotten about like you know, in this month you'll see hair supplies and lotions and stuff like that. So things that I generally buy on Amazon that I have forgotten about. And yes, we do actually have a hundred dollars also in the budget for Amazon. So it gives us like a $200 Amazon cushion, but yeah, we spend Amazon and Walmart are like the best. And honestly, I've started shopping at Walmart a lot more online because of Ernie. When Walmart does a rollback, they just email them and I've been getting cash back pretty regularly. So I actually did a whole video on Ernie and I'll link it up in the eye in the sky if you want to check it out. I cannot recommend it enough. You can link your debit card to pay the fees. You do not have to have a credit card. We don't have a credit card and it works out perfectly. So let's jump into this bad boy. So the major problem in the budget is this 392.16 charge. So let me set you up with the story. I was at a Girl Scout camping training. I am the camping coordinator for the Girl Scout troop. And so I was at that training for the weekend and you know, freezing my hiney off. It was like 28 degrees outside, so cold. And I come back and Melina's all excited and she tells me, daddy got me a present. And I'm like, okay, I'm thinking, you know, like Polly Pockets or something, something I can deal with. Now, dad got Melina a Nintendo Switch or dad got dad a Nintendo Switch. Not really sure. The things that were going through my head, nobody should have heard. But they said, but you can take it back if you want. I was not going to be the bad guy and take it away. So yeah, so we had to deal with that charge. And that's all I'm gonna say about that, cause yeah. Then I got Melly her hairspray wax this stuff is amazing on Melina's hair. Melina's hair is super, super fine. If you saw Melina when she got home from school in the video I did on the clean with me and her hair was like still in ponytails and still looked nice, I was in shock. This stuff, it's like a spray on wax and you brush it through and then you just spray a little hairspray on it and it stays in place all day. As long as it's like up in a ponytail. If it's down, no. That, Spray was $11 and then I spent $29.64 at my book club for two glasses of wine and then I bought chocolates which were large so I shared it with the group but mostly I ate it, let's admit it. And then I spent $21.25 for stamps at the postal service. My Ernie charged me $8.22 as a fee for their percentage of the money that they got me back this month. And I spent $10.59 on eucalyptus oil for our humidifier. And let me tell you, don't try and go cheap on essential oils because it's not worth it. It's a waste of money. And because it's open, they won't take it back. And so I just ended up leaving them a bad review for crappy essential oils. But I spent $13.95 on these plastic knives for Melina because she has started wanting to help me cook. I am not okay with a seven-year-old using a big knife. So they had these great plastic knives, which are a little bit harder for her to use, but she did a great job chopping up potatoes with them recently. I mean, they worked great. They work fantastically for tomatoes and 
and the softer vegetables especially. So she's really enjoying helping me. I also spent $22.95 for a hat to go with my winter coat. Um, I have this big wool winter coat that I got custom made in Columbia and I usually just wear it with a scarf, but I got invited to go to the White House for their uh, Christmas tree lighting ceremony. And so I need to dress nice and I need to have head covering. So I went ahead and bought this adorable hat. I love it. It is so cute. I spent $12.40 for a conditioner for Melina because she needed it. She was out. I also bought a black ski cap for myself for winter because when it did snow, I did realize that I've lost my ski cap. So yeah, which is kind of a bummer because my grandma made it for me. And I spent $13.99 on that. We got a charging cord for the Nintendo Switch for $15.89. And I needed a mesh bag to store my sleeping bag. And that cost $10.29. And then we bought a thermos for Melina so she could take Coco to school with her in the mornings for $14.88. So another reason we were over this month is the health category. Usually we have a lot of play in our budget that we can get a lot of expenses in the health category and we won't, you know, be over. And one of the reasons we were over in so many categories is because Melina's specialist that she's going to, we had budgeted $720 and we only spent $360 on that. So we did have over $300 in play in the budget, which was lovely because there were a lot of overages this month. We spent $44.95 for me for Weight Watchers and $360 for Melina Specialist. I had to go to a girly doctor for $40.42. I am about the age that my mother was when she had breast cancer. And so I now have to go see a specialist for that. They're going to do some genetic testing and everything. I have a super proactive primary care. So, you know, she sends me to lots of doctors for lots of stuff. But hey, I appreciate it. I'd rather be overly cautious than under cautious. My neurologist appointment was $38.92. Mauricio went to the dentist for $84.40. I had a cardiologist exam for $35. I bought face cleanser, shampoo, and conditioner for me for $35.05. We bought iodine wound scrub for $6.66. I bought a face mask for my face, obviously, because it's a face mask, for $7.99. I did get another set of essential oils for the humidifier for $36.98. And then Melina got sick. One of her issues is that she gets pneumonia really, really easily. She unfortunately got pneumonia again, which means lots of doctor's payments. So we had $25 for Melina to go to the doctor, $35 for an urgent care for that, and then another $25 for her medication for pneumonia. And then the last payment in this category was $75 for my dermatology medicine for my face. And this month we put $2,600 to USAA, $260 to our visa, $465 to our car loan, $200 to our tax loan, and $184.56 to Mauricio's school loan. So not a stellar month debt-wise for sure, but you know... It is what it is. We're up to here. Where are we? Up here. Yeah. If you look, we're almost done with what we originally had projected would be our debt payoff. Yeah, we're not done. We're not close. And so this month we were $688.75 over budget. And you know where that's coming from next month. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.